Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at bounded types. Now in simple terms, bounded types are used to restrict the types that can be passed to a type parameter. Now we've already seen this generic print array class before. So in this case, we can restrict or limit the type that can be passed over here while creating an object of our generic class. Now, why do we need bounded types? So let's say we have a requirement to print the sum of numbers in an array. And for that, we have to write a generic class. So in this case, our generic class would look something like this. So as you can see, I've created a class over here by the name print sum and I've passed a type parameter to it. Then inside that we have a method print, which takes one parameter, which is an array of type T. And then inside that method, we have the logic to print the sum. Okay. So this is our class. Now the array, which we can pass over here, it can be an array of integer an array of float array of double, etc. But we cannot pass an array of string or character or any other type. It has to be an array of numbers. And that is because let's say if we pass an array of string over here, then in that case, internally, the arithmetic operations will fail because over here we are ultimately calculating the sum, right? So it will involve some arithmetic operations and they can only deal with numbers. So if we pass anything apart from numbers or anything other than numbers, then those operations will fail. Okay. So in this case, we need to restrict the types that can be passed over here to allow only numbers. So we basically have to create a bound. Okay. And the syntax of creating a bounded type is something like this. So as you can see, I've used the extends keyword over here to create a bound and then I've written the number class. So this number class is a super class of integer float double and some other numeric types. So this will allow only those classes to be passed, which extends our number class. Okay. So we have created a bound to allow only numeric types, right? So this is our bounded type. Now, in case of our number class, we can pass these following types. So we have byte, short, integer, long, float, and double. So all of these classes, they extend our number class and any other type or any other class apart from these will not be allowed. Okay. So yeah, that's it guys. We are going to implement this program in our next tutorial. So thank you for watching.